Hey guys. So today I'm gonna be doing a kind of bag collection. I would like to say that this excludes all like little mini makeup bags. I don't have a lot of mini makeup bags, but I was just like, I'm not gonna get into that today because I have a lot of bags. But I would like to say that I already got rid of a lot of bags. Um, some of which I'm still working on selling, so there's that. But, um, anyway, I have still have a lot of bags that I have to go through. Not to go through, but I have a lot of bags to show you. So, I've got quite a bit of tote bags. Um, if I somehow decided to get rid of some of these, that would be cool too, but, you know. I don't know. Let's start with my bags that I use every day. So, I got a new purse a while ago, and I love her. This, I, I thrift a lot, so I have a couple that are thrifted, but for some reason, my main purse always ends up being thrifted. Um, I'll, you'll see my old purse, my old everyday purse, in this video, because I still have it, obviously. Um, but I found this one at a yard sale, and she sold it to me for a dollar. It is Willow Bay. I don't know if that's, like, significant. I've never Googled it. I really like this purse because it has multiple compartments, and... It's got like a middle compact zipper and then a second like middle zipper and then there's still just like so many pockets and there's like this opening right here. It's amazing. I love it so much. Um, if you want me to do like a new like what's in my purse video, I can totally do that. But I don't really want to get into that right now because I still got a lot to show you. But this is that. This is one that I use every single day right now. And she's perfect. And also what another reason why I like her is because it can go here or it can go here. Like I just feel like it's really versatile just enough my second everyday bag this is what i use for work I'll show you sorry i'm a little bit like barely too low i don't know but anyways i have this Harmons tote bag um honestly truth of it all is i found it in my dad's bedroom and i was like this is so cute um and i saw i went to an audition like a dance audition and i saw this girl carrying all of her dance stuff in it and i was like that's so cute i kind of like the Harmons bag kind of look i think it's really fun but i just kind of keep my laptop in here my planner my ballet shoes my tap shoes for when i teach and stuff this is literally a dirty shirt but yeah i just keep like random stuff like that and because i use my planner i check my planner pretty daily and i like to have it when i go to work because i never know when i have to like add something into my schedule and then my laptop because it's for work but on that note maybe let's see if i can rummage through this and go on like a tote bag journey with you um Okay, so I got this one. It is Do It Excites. If you guys know what that's from, it's Kelly Wakasa. Um, it is your mom Ashley's boyfriend. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with your mom Ashley and Kelly Wakasa and like the Do It Excites brand. I got this tote bag and a t-shirt. And I used this tote bag for school for a while because I was just like, I don't know why, but I was like so sure that like, I was like, I'm not going to be a backpack, a backpack girly. So I tried to be a tote girly, and then eventually was like, dude, I cannot be wearing just one shoulder. Like, that's putting a lot of weight on my shoulder, and it's, like, not really great. But anyway, I love tote bags. So, like, you know, love a good tote bag. This dude excites one is, like, amazing. And, okay, another tote bag. This one is my all, like, one of my all-time favorite tote bags, to be honest with you. Um, I hate, I don't really like the, I like the dark tote bags, specifically because they're so easy to get dirty, and it's, like, fine. But I have a lot of light wash ones, and there I'll show you like all the ones I went got for my trips. Well, this one I also got on a trip actually. So I got this one in LA from my 19th birthday. It says the possibilities are endless, and I just think this one is so cute. And like, anyways, I really want to utilize this one a lot more. I have a little pin on it that I kind of keep on there. It says art is for everyone because we went to the Mocha Museum in LA when we went. Yeah, when we went, so I went with my best friend Gigi and my friend Ava, and it was a really good time. I loved it, and I got this tote bag, and I love it. So, I got another tote bag for you. This one is, I got it a part of a meet and greet with the driver era. So, the driver era is Ross Lynch and Rocky Lynch, um, and I love them. And speaking of which, me and my mom got tickets for their next concert because they're coming back to Salt Lake. So I got, let's see, before I went to school, that was about two years ago. So summer of 2022, I went and saw Driver Era and I had meet and greet tickets. My mom did it as kind of like a graduation present. She got us tickets. Me and my mom both met them. They were both so sweet. My mom didn't want any of the merch. And because I was like, I'm like so obsessed with them. 
I have her tote bag. Okay, I think I've gathered all the tote bags. Let's keep going with tote bags. Okay, this one I believe is it's from BDG, but I'm pretty sure I got it from like Urban Outfitters, and I think I got it when I went to like LA or Florida or something. No, I think it was California. I think yeah, because I think we were on the pier, and then there there's like the pier, Santa Monica Pier, and then if you like walk around, there's like a mall. And I got this, and I got like purple leggings. I'm 90% positive this is from that trip, or maybe it wasn't. I don't know, but I like this one. It's like a I don't know what this kind of corduroy. I almost said suede, but I don't I know that's not right. So corduroy kind of like texture. I like this one a lot. It's like also one of the ones where I'm like I don't want to get dirty. But now I've got a lot of like cheapo, not cheapo, but like these kind of like little tote bags, like kind of similar to the driver era one. So, but these ones all have like a sentimental value. That's why I never really use them. There was one that I used, and I'll explain that in a minute. But anyways, I have this one, and it is from Rome. Um, when I was in school, I hung them up like above my closet. And that was really nice to kind of like display them because I love them. And this is from the Trevi, it's from the Trevi Fountain. And I like picked this one up in Rome. I tried to get one in every place that we went, but unfortunately I couldn't get one in London, which was unfortunate. But I got one in Amsterdam, the Amsterdam tote. And then I got one in Paris. And this one just says... Madame Princess in Paris, in like French, in Paris, in, it's in French guys, it's in French. Um, and anyways, I just thought that was really cute. And these were really popular in that moment when I was there, like these little guys. So that worked out, I liked that one. And then let's see what else I got. Oh yes, I have this one from Costa Rica, which was not like obviously in that radar at all. This one's from Costa Rica. I really love getting tote bags from places I go. Cause you know like people get like keychains or something. I don't know. Um, one of the first, one of the first times I've been to Glossier twice, and the second time I went, I think I ended up just getting a lipstick and a sweater. But the first time I went, I got like a bunch of um, makeup, and we got tote bags because we spent like over a hundred bucks. So I got that one. So that's like kind of all my tote bags. I, that's a lot of tote bags and I really need to like not do that anyway this one is from Japan yeah this one's from Japan but I never I've never been to Japan let me preface that this one's from Japan and it was from my dad when my dad went to Japan and he got it for me when I was little so it's like tiny like obviously it's not really fitting my arm but I still think it's like so cute and like obviously it's from Japan like why would I ever get rid of that so like her she's really cute okay now let's do i think my next one is fanny packs so first fanny pack i literally think i got this from amazon it's got a keychain on it which my friend gave to me because i wore this one i'm pretty sure this was the one i wore to the sabrina carpenter emails i can't send tour and i think my friend gave this to me like while we were at the tour because i took him to his first concert um i think i also brought this one what that is trash i'm pretty sure it was i think it was this this one that i bought specifically for europe because i was like i need something that i can wear around that's on the front of my body because i was being told that theft in europe was like super high not super high but like it was so easy, like, people would come up behind you and, like, cut the straps of your backpack and, like, and your purses and stuff and, like, steal them. So, I was like, I need something, like, on the front of my body. So, I'm pretty sure I took that one. Um, and then I have, let's see if there's anything in here. There is. This will go over in a second. Herschel, I think this was also from, like, Paxson or something. I literally have no idea. But I like this one. I've had it for a long time. I wore it to Billie Eilish's second concert in Utah. Um, I don't know. She's cute. I like her. I like her because she's like a good fanny pack that's like slightly different from my other ones. Also, if anybody ever wears fanny packs, like like actual fanny packs, that's like so embarrassing. Always wear them as crossbody. Maybe it's not that embarrassing. I think my mom's done it before, but okay. Another fanny pack. Um, can I just say that like I'm so thankful. I'm gonna go. Sorry, I can't be on my knees anymore. I, um, they just hurt, I don't know what to tell you. 
Okay, anyways. Um, this one is an Adidas fanny pack. I like this one because it's got two pockets. I use this as my main purse for, like, the last year of college, to be honest. Um, until eventually, like, I think I eventually switched, like, towards the end. But I think it was just so convenient because I could wear it and then wear my backpack on top of it. It was, like, so nice. But anyways, it's an Adidas fanny pack. I think I literally took this one from my dad, too. I was like, Dad, do you even use this? And he was like, no. And I was like, I can I have it? Because I love a good fanny pack like this. And this one was so easy and perfect. So, definitely one of my top fanny packs, to be honest. Let's get into, like, maybe backpacks. And then we'll get into, like, purses. Yeah? Okay. Backpack. My dad gave me this backpack. Anyway, my dad gave me this one. And I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Because why not? But the only reason I think I've been holding on to it is because it, like, it's not really like the cutest like everyday go bag but it fits a lot and it's got like the front packet and i like the only reason i didn't use it for school was because it was just like not that cute to me like it didn't really match like any of my outfits however like when i start going skiing again i think this would be a really good one to like pack all my ski stuff in i also think like it holds a lot of like all my extra bags and it's it's a reef bag it's a reef backpack but i i genuinely think it's like super cute it matches like my skiing clothes that's why i was like i feel like this will come in really in handy when i go skiing and also just like going on long trips and stuff it like works really well like i'm pretty sure i've used it on a trip before so i love her this is not really like a backpack but let me explain it's got like a draw a drawstring thingy at the top so it like folds up it's kind of like more like a duffel and it's got this little handle here and then it's got a big strap here i love this bag it fits so much like so much and it's got like this front pocket right here and this front pocket right here like zipping pocket and I, it like it fits so much it's so easy to carry like i don't know why i put it on like that because that's how i would never wear it it would be like on my back but you know what i mean it fits a lot and i genuinely love it and i think my dad got it for me in costa rica okay i bought a i had a big orange can can that i used for school um like my freshman year no eighth grade sophomore i have no idea i have no idea when i was using it but anyways these are really big for a while and i was also like in a big phase where i was like i'm not using a regular purse i'm not a regular purse girl yet like that is not the era i'm in i'm still using backpacks as my purse so this was like my main purse for like a while like i'd fit anything i needed in here and it actually came in really handy i took it to Kalamazoo, Michigan when I went with my dance team because sometimes it's just like sometimes you just can't do a purse and sometimes you just need a backpack because sometimes you just need to take more things with you and it just doesn't fit everything. So this came in a lot of handy and I, I do still love this one. I still would use it a lot to be honest. I'm not sure where to go next but let's talk about since we're talking about my childhood. This one is I think it's so cute but I don't know if I could ever style it right now but it is a children's purse um, and it's from Pink. Like, I've got the little star. It says pink on it. You just can't see it. Okay. So, it's got the little, like, star keychain. It's, like, kind of... The keychain genuinely is falling apart. But it's from pink. It's from Victoria's Secret's pink. And it's got, like, a little button. It opens up. It says... This is what makes me feel so much cooler. Oh, my God. It's Mary Kate and Ashley. Like, you can see that. Oh, my God. Can you even believe... Can you even believe I still own this? But anyway, I'm pretty sure 90 anyway, I'm pretty sure 90% positive that my aunt Jamie got it for me when I was a kid, and I genuinely feel like even now like I could still like I don't know. But I really liked her and that is what led me into my this this bag specifically led me into my next purchase cuz this was like I'm like this is so cute. It's like mini and I feel like it's just really adorable. And then I started searching for like the perfect little black bag. And this is my absolutely pride and joy. One of my pride and joys. Hold on. Because I have a lot of good purses that I really like. And like if we're talking mini black purse that was inexpensive. I bought this on Depop. I love her. She's shiny. She has like very minimal um, issues with her. You open her up. The inside is like kind of a gingham. Like a black and white gingham. You can't really see it. There's like a little card slot in there it says liz claborn accessories i don't know but i really like her because she kind of holds her own you know like she's not as like 
kind of like whatever's happening with this one it's like flat she holds her own and she looks really good on i literally used her for all of my vacations like i wore her for my graduation like i put her under my cap and gown and i feel like she looks so good for like so many occasions like i really just need to use lights utilize her a lot more um so we're sticking with like mini bags right now this one i got from dolls kill in la like i went in la so here's how it can kind of be like a crossbody is if you pull the chain and like put this back inside of it let me see oh my god hello it can be long but i personally really like it a lot more as like a mini shoulder purse because when you do it it's like perfectly length i feel like but anyway she's got like a little lock she's got like this like fake weird leather situation happening um it's definitely not quite my vibe to be honest anymore but i feel like she's gonna come in handy so i keep her around you know and like it's like one of my nicer purses i feel like it's nicer looking it's from dolls kill so like what can you say about that so i found this one inside and this is also one that i feel like i would love to utilize a lot more um but she's very tiny and she's very dainty but she's from costa rica um i remember buying her actually because i was shopping for gifts for my best friend and i remember finding her and being like she's adorable and i love her and she's just so pretty she's gorgeous she's absolutely stunning okay next we've got this one it's from princess polly let's check that there's nothing inside no just pockets oh wait there's this thing that I'm having. So I left the like, there's like fillers for these pockets up here. Um, but I really like, I don't know why it's like, it's the light is like outshining it. But anyway, I like her a lot. She's definitely one that gets like a little more dirty, but she's super cute and stylish. And like, definitely this is one of my nicer purses. I really want to like find a better system for my closets. Um, just because I want to keep my purses nice, but right now they're all just like hung up on a wall. Um, okay, so I have this one. You can figure out what it's from. I don't remember who we saw wearing it. It might be Olivia Rodrigo, to be honest. Oh my god, I found four bucks. Two two dollar bills, which I'm assuming are from my grandma, but I'm gonna keep those there. Hide them for myself later. Um, it says, Bell and Edward, always forgotten, remembered, never. Always remembered, forgotten, never. I don't know. But it's, I, the back of it says praying. Because that's the brand. Um, I like it. I like it for the, like, for, like, the vibe and, like, the hot girlness of it. Don't really use her that often. I should use her more. Because I spent too much money on it. I spent too much money on it. So I should use it more often. Um, next let's go to my thrifted baby. We already know her. We love her. Um, there's like so much shit in here because I used her a lot. Um, anyways, sorry, this one thrifted her. You guys saw her from this video. Um, there's not really too much to say about her because you've seen a lot of her already. Moving on. This one is also one of my pride and joys. I love my bag view. She's amazing. She's so helpful. She fits so much. She fits my iPad. She fits all my books. Um, I'm not really a fan of the color so much anymore. I'm realizing because she just gets dirty and I hate it when my things get dirty and I feel like it just breaks my heart. But I do love the color for like the style. So if you get what I'm saying. Um, I like the pockets so much. So I love her. I... The, I am going to do, be doing a video later, like in a couple of weeks, where I talk about my wish list for my birthday. And bagus are going to be involved, so we're going to be exploring like some other styles of bagus that I would be interested in getting. Or, you know, whatever. But that's for another video. But anyways, I love this bagu. I can't remember what the circumstance was that I bought it in, but I was like, really like this bag. And then I got to school and my friend was like, also had a bunch of bagus, and I was like, yes, I'm cool. Anyways. I also have a baggy reusable reusable bag. I think it's like the classic like one with the smiley face on it. I don't really want to open it up. 
But I think I'm gonna leave this out and put it in my main purse so I can use it when I go grocery shopping. Is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, let's see if there's any other bags to show you. I think there might be like literally one more, which I crocheted myself. I don't really want to talk about this one because she's like, like, why is the strap this long? And the strap is that long so I could put it on. But I still feel like it's too long because it stretches. But it was a start. I just made a bunch of granny squares and sewed them together. And, um, I think we could work with it. It was fine. You know? I don't know. There's that. I genuinely think that was all my purses and... I don't even, this video is already probably too long. So that was all of the bags that I own and purses and tote bags and everything that I have. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys take some inspiration from me. I'm gonna say two things. As I was saying, always have three things. Tote bag, a main bag, and a going out bag, preferably a little black purse. Um, genuinely, like I think that's always so good. Maybe even a tote bag, maybe even a little tote to that. But also not everybody's a tote girly. Maybe someone's more of a backpack girly. So maybe like have like a big boy bag, like a backpack or a tote, fanny pack, going out bag, and a main purse. But that's all I have for you guys today. And I'll see you guys next time. I've got a lot of fun videos planned I want to do. I'll tell you, I want to do a, I'm going to do like a, everyday makeup routine i'm gonna do that like super soon i'm gonna do a shoe collection just like this one i'm gonna do a lot of birthday festivities i'm turning 21 in a couple weeks so there's gonna be a lot of birthday videos i think i have at least like three birthday videos lined up maybe four but i just have so many things i want to do with you guys so i hope you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and don't do it for me but do it for you because i'm funny and awesome and interesting so, you should just subscribe, okay? And because we're getting so close to 700 subscribers. And I love you guys. And that's all, okay? Bye.